I think the number one word that comes to my mind when you think of TASIS is community. My first year here, I remember feeling so welcomed, so taken care of. People are really helpful, really look out for each other. Because we are a transient community, there's very few people who've been here forever. Everyone remembers what it's like to be new. And so I think we're very supportive in that way of people who are in transition, who, who are new. It's just a very warm place. I think it's a very happy place. I've worked in all three divisions in some capacity, and I feel like kids here do enjoy coming to school. The teachers enjoy coming to work because we really are very passionate about what we do, and I think that feeds the passion of the students. We have our program in the south of France where for three weeks we engage students 24-7 in artistic process, from architectural design to sculpture to photography to drawing, painting, printmaking. All of these things students are literally living and breathing these media. And, and this extraordinary place up in the mountains, a remote place that allows us all a chance to get to know each other in a way that we probably wouldn't during a normal academic year. So TASIS has always offered us as teachers avenues for innovation, avenues for exploration. One of the things that drew me to TASIS when I started looking internationally, I'd been a counselor for a few years and I thought, well, I'd like to take this opportunity to go somewhere else. And I started doing some research and running some interviews and things. And one of the things that really drew me to TASIS was the focus of the whole child. It really seemed, even in their mission statement and all the conversations I had, not only with the headmaster at the time, but with the head and assistant head at the time here in the lower school, that that was a huge ethos in the school that we look after the whole child. It's not just about academics, it's also who they are as people and how they're feeling, not just about themselves but about the world around them. And I think that that's a really, really important part. Obviously as a counselor I would, but um, that's something that I feel really passionately about and it's obvious to me that TASIS does as well. We do a focus on well-being, there are things that we do from the counseling side of things, uh, we do assemblies. A lot of times I run assemblies with my head and my assistant head and we'll talk about personal social kinds of subjects that kids come up on stage and talk about responsibility or respect or courage and we try really hard to make sure that we foster that in the kids, that it's more than just about being smart, it's about knowing yourself, it's about liking yourself, it's about being somebody in the world that can show love and kindness to other people and be able to receive that back and how that makes the biggest impact on the world. When I was looking at international schools, I knew I wanted to be in England. So when I was looking, I was looking for some very specific things. And the thing that really drew me to TASIS was the mission. And this idea that it's a school that's not driven by external factors. It's driven by this true desire for you know, an appreciation of beauty and creating well-rounded students who are lifelong learners, who have a passion for learning. You know, there's the international factor as well, who, who understand about different cultures and who are doing art and music and theater and sports and also um, achieving academic excellence. That was definitely what drew me to the school. Part of it is the international nature of the place. This is an extraordinarily diverse community. Kids from as many as 36 countries often gracing our classrooms. And I say gracing the classroom in, in, in the most serious way because to have a group of people from all over the world with you engaged in learning processes is a great privilege. The kids are definitely my favorite part about TASIS. They are just the most amazing kids that you could ever ask for. They are energetic and fun and passionate about everything that they do and they're just so excited to learn anything and you can tell them anything and they just, their eyes light up and it's amazing. That's absolutely the best part of the, the, about this job. I think I have to say, honestly, there's lots of favorite parts. I think for me, the classroom teaching is the thing that I love the most. People tell me that I look like I'm having fun in the classroom, and I have to say that's absolutely true. The time flies by, so I think that's probably number one. I'm also part of something called the Fleming Garden Committee, and we do have a 200-year-old wall garden at school that we are working really hard to bring back to full functioning. And that is a place for me where, you know, it's, it's an oasis of calm in a busy day, so it's a, certainly a favorite 
place um, where I can do something which is completely different or just breathe for a few minutes. But for number one, I think it has to be the teaching and working with, with the kids. As the lower school and fifth grade counselor, I meet with kids at a variety of ages for lots of different things. For the most part, I would say that I am in charge of sort of fostering the development of personal, social, and emotional stuff for all the kids. So I work with all the children ages about three to 10, and I do a lot of different things. I run groups for different stuff. We might run groups on something like anxiety, or for new students, or friendship groups, something to help kids feel a little bit more part of things. I also work with kids a lot individually. So we have a lot of students who have some struggles just coming to a new place, a new school that's hard and they just need somebody on their side to listen to them and I'm that person for them. I work a lot with parents, I run parenting workshops and things like that as well. I meet with parents individually so I help them try to figure out maybe what's going on with their child and help support them in helping their child overcome something or deal with something on their own. Tassus has this quality which is almost ineffable. <laughs> it's a quality of welcoming someone into a situation where we can be collegial, uh, we can have a sense of equality, uh, we can learn about each other, respect one another. Uh, it has a, an atmosphere of awakening awareness of what it is to live and work in a community of, of learners. And I don't really want to describe that in words because I think you have to come here and, and sense it for yourself. I don't think it's possible to actually put it into words. One of our French teachers here once said, um, I think a Tassis education is about gaining insights to life. And I think he's got a very good point there. Um, insights can come from all kinds of experiences. We just happen to have put together a, an environment here in which insights seem to pop out of every corner uh, of a student's experience. And I've never known a TASA student to leave this place without it having indelibly imprinted them with a sense that the world is a luminous place. That the world is a place that's glowing with possibility. Our graduates are luminous people. <laughs>